Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to deliver your January 2017 general readings, which are general, so they're not going to resonate the same or play out the same for everyone who watches because there's so many of you watching. Everyone has different things going on in your lives, which is why we always tell you to check your rising and your moon sign as well. You may find that they play out for you a little more predictively this month, or you just get different uh, pieces of the picture and insight on what's going on in your life uh, for the month of January 2017. Watching all three together gives you uh, a more clear and cohesive picture of what you can expect for those of you for whom this reading will resonate. Uh, I'm going to be doing the usual eight card spread, two cards for each week, with an additional ninth card from the bottom of the deck as your crowning card representing overall energy and advice. And a note of gratitude before we, be, we begin, as always, thank you to those of you who continue to watch and follow and listen. Your support and feedback is terrific. Keep the comments coming. I read each and every one of them. And welcome to any newcomers today. Thank you also to those of you who continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It is a pleasure and an honor to read for you, and I am always grateful for the trust you place in me to interpret and intuit the cards for you. And if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, either for yourself or as a gift for uh, friends or family or loved ones, you can click on the little About button on my YouTube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information, and my email address, which is maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you, so if you're interested, send me an email and we will go from there. I do readings full-time six days a week, so I'm able to get back with you fairly quickly and set up a reading in a pretty timely fashion. Uh, current turn turnaround time is anywhere from a couple of days upwards of two weeks, but almost always within two weeks we can schedule a reading for you live or recorded. And uh, I do offer a... Uh, 12-month overview and outlook, which is always quite popular at this time of the year, even though you can do it at any time of the year because it covers 12 months from the time of the reading. But as we're going into the new year, it's uh, I always get a lot of requests for the yearly overview and outlook, which is a pretty in-depth 24-card spread that takes a look at every main area of your life. Uh, for the coming new year. So if you're interested in that, just mention it in your email. So moving forward, let's get right into this. This reading is for Pisces for the first month of the brand new year of 2017, January 2017 for the water sign of Pisces, Pisces the fish. What does the month of January have in store for Pisces? What do they need to see? What do they need to know? Feedback, guidance, advice, and messages from spirit for the water sign of Pisces for January 2017. Okay, we begin with the world. What a beautiful card to begin with, Pisces, accompanied by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands, accompanied by the Devil in Reverse. What a great combination of cards. After that, we have the Eight of Cups with the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. <clears throat> and at or towards the end of January 2017, we have the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is the Four of Swords. <laughs> Looks like it's time to take a bit of a break or a vacation, Pisces. <clears throat> so let's just take a look here. It is appropriate that as we're entering the new year, uh, you have a very strong energy of new beginnings. You have three aces here, aces representing seeds, the one, uh, the very beginning uh, of a path, uh, new beginnings, new pathways, which have the potential if uh, these seeds are planted and, and taken care of, they represent beginnings which have the potential to grow and manifest into something quite powerful and quite beautiful, which is an appropriate way to begin the new year. So Pisces, we find ourselves at the beginning of January 2017 with the major arcana card of the world, 
accompanied by the Ace of Pentacles. So you are entering the brand new year, January 2017, feeling on top of the world. This is a card, uh, it's the last card in the tarot. It, it is a card of completion, of taking a moment to stop and reflect back uh, over everything that you have done and accomplished. Uh, uh, probably over the previous year. Some of you have probably used this energy to also make resolutions and plans uh, and promises going into the new year. Uh, my analogy for the, for the energy of the world card is, is that you've climbed a mountain and, uh, and there's lots of mountains you've climbed in life and probably more that you will climb, but this mountain's been particularly significant. For some of you, it represents the year of 2016 in summary. And you're at the top, you've reached the top, you've reached the pinnacle, and all of a sudden it hits you that you actually made it. And you take a minute to kind of pause and reflect and uh, acknowledge everything that it took to get you to the top of this mountain, all the triumphs and successes, all the failures and defeats, the trial and error, the lessons learned. And it's about coming to a deeper awareness and understanding and acknowledgement of, of how much you were actually able to accomplish and what you might yet be capable of accomplishing in the future. It's a very uh, uh, self-acknowledging, self-empowering uh, sort of card. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Now, it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles, so we have Earth energy here, which is the element that governs the suit of Pentacles, which is all about things in our earthly, material, tangible, concrete world, that day-to-day -day world we live in. And the energy of the suit of Pentacles often manifests in things like money, finances, property, resources, assets, etc., job, etc., those tangible things that we can see and touch and feel. Uh, and aces represent new beginnings, new pathways. So this is a, uh, a new beginning. Uh, you're starting a new year, but this is, represents a new beginning in a very tangible, concrete way. And for some of you, uh, this card I often see come up for moving, uh, relocating, moving to a new apartment, a new house, uh, moving to the other side of town, to another state, or even for some of you out of the country. Uh, some of you will are, are, as you're entering into the new year, you're, you're also um, moving. You're moving your residence. Some of you, this is the start of a new job. Uh, however it plays out for you, and of course it's going to mean different things to different people because everybody's, there's so many of you watching and everybody has different things going on in their lives, but the fundamental energy is the same. Uh, you're starting off the month of January 2017 and the new year uh, on a new path. You're beginning something new, but it's a very tangible new beginning. Uh, and, it, and it really has you feeling very empowered. And it represents, I think for a lot of you, um, whatever this new beginning is specifically for you, represents the culmination of uh, whatever effort, a lot of effort that you've put into achieving it, being able to gather whatever it is that you needed to move forward into this new beginning, to move, to buy your new home, to move to another apartment, starting a new job, uh, perhaps even starting a whole new life somewhere else. But it represents that you've put a lot of energy into this and you've been very successful. Some of you, uh, for, sometimes the Ace of Pentacles can represent the actual giving of a tangible concrete gift, which makes this new beginning possible for you. But also, again, Lee has you feeling very empowered and very on top of the world. Um, and it is an, an acknowledgement uh, of, of all the effort that you've put into getting yourself to this point. Now we move next into the energy of the Four of Wands paired with the Devil in Reverse. So the Four of Wands, here we have fire energy, which is the element that governs the suit of wands. It's all about change, movement, action, power. Wands is all about creating and building and manifesting. It can represent career, creative projects, artistic projects. It's a very fluid and forward moving uh, energy, the suit of wands. The Four of Wands is one of those cards that are considered, uh, referred to as the happy home cards. And it represents, it, it has a celebratory energy to it. And it can represent an actual celebratory events like a, a wedding, an anniversary, a birthday, a graduation, uh, uh, the celebration of something, which again, there's kind of an excited, exciting homecoming energy about this. Uh, for some of you, it can represent um, an actual party, uh, 
for some of you, this could represent a, a New Year's party or um, a party that you're having some t somewhere in the month of January. But the reason for the party is to celebrate the culmination of whatever uh, went into achieving this. Uh, for marriage, it represents the coming together of two lives. An anniversary is a celebration of uh, the life that you've had together so far, birthday, graduation, etc. Some of you, it's going to represent an actual party or an event. But this is also called, referred to sometimes as the happy surprise card because there is a, a theme with the Four of Wands of of something that you're already looking at in a positive way, uh, actually working out better than you anticipate, something unexpected happening, some kind of happy surprise that's on its way that's going to occur, uh, which is going to elevate it. Um, something's going to work out better than you anticipate. It's kind of like a, a, a an unexpected blessing of some kind. And even though you know it's coming, you still don't know what it is, so it is still a happy surprise coming. Um, which is really great because you're starting off the year with this brand new uh, tangible beginning anyway. Some of you, it, it's an actual gift that you're being given in acknowledgement for something. Uh, but it, it, there's a sense of family unity and harmony and celebration around the Four of Wands as well. It's not just uh, you that you're celebrating alone. There's kind of a sense of other people celebrating this with you. Uh, but, but some kind of energy coming in that's going to surprise you. Um, and be very beneficial, very fortuitous for you. And it's also going to represent um, a bringing back into balance that which was out of balance or out of harmony because that four of wands is paired with the devil in reverse. So in the upright position, this is a major arcana card, and in the upright position, the devil represents imbalance, things being out of balance and out of harmony in a pretty significant and profound way because it's major arcana cards, so pretty significant energy here. It can represent addictions, uh, conventional addictions like alcohol, drugs, uh, sex, shopping, unhealthy relationships, basically too much attention and focus in one area to the detriment and exclusion of others. For some of you, this could represent addiction. Some of you may be representing uh, uh, an anniversary or celebrating a period of time where you have uh, freed yourself from uh, an addiction cycle of some kind or you're, you're celebrating with somebody else um, uh, the fact that they've struggled with their particular demons, wrestled with them, and they're, they're celebrating a period of time of abstinence from that or of success away from that, a healing period. Some of you, it could be that. Uh, others of you, uh, because you got it in the reverse, so Whatever the celebratory energy or event is, uh, and this new beginning that you have represents, uh, for some of you, it's a healing of what was broken, uh, a, a sense of, of balancing out and bringing something back into harmony, whether it's an, an actual specific relationship. Again, for some of you, it could be actual addiction, uh, yours or somebody, a loved one, somebody close close to you. But there's a celebrating of the effort uh, and and what it actually cost you to get to this point uh, where you're finally celebrating having overcome this and, and have brought harmony and balance back to yourself, the situation, relationships, as you're starting off on this concrete new beginning. Uh, for some of you, it, it's moving energy as well. Perhaps you're starting a new job or a new career path, uh, but there's a sense of balance being restored and celebrating all that it took to get you here. Beautiful, very strong, empowering energy. So next to that, we have the combination of the Eight of Cups paired with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So the Eight of Cups, here we have water energy, which is the element that governs the suit of cups. And cups is about uh, feelings, emotions, relationships, and love. And the Eight of Cups is a card of walking away from that which you find, uh, which you have found to be ultimately disappointing, disillusioning. Um, not fulfilling for you anymore. It's not a card about 
trying to make a decision whether to walk away for, from something or not. This is uh, the energy of the Eight of Cups is that the decision's already been made to cut yourself loose from something, to turn your back on something because it isn't working for you or it's no longer working for you. Or it's served its purpose. It's time for you to move on. These Eight Cups behind this man that are on the ground, some of them are tipped over and spilled out. Some of them are upright. The implication is that he has tasted and drunk from most, if not all, of these cups. And in the beginning, he may have thought that they were what he wanted or he was just, you know, trying different things out. But at the end, after he's experimented with all of them, they either turned out to be something different than what he thought they were or what they were presented to be in the beginning uh, or just not what he wanted. There's a sense of disappointment and disillusionment. So he's made a decision definitively to cut himself free, turn his back and walk away. He's uh, His back is turned to us. He's dressed for travel. He has his hat on, his cloak on. He's already made the decision to walk away. He's just surveying the horizon and uh, trying to decide which way he's going to go. So again, it feels like you've come to a you're, something's closing out rather successfully. Something I think a lot of you, for some, a lot of you, it's it's a battle, a struggle of some kind, and there's a sense of triumph and of winning and of celebrating that and everything that it took. You are walking away from what no longer works from you, whether like for some of you, it's an actual addiction, unhealthy relationship patterns, a relationship specifically, perhaps a job or career path uh, that doesn't work for you, and you're moving forward into a place where you're going to to find your joy. Your your true joy and true fulfillment and, 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 and lead a healthy and balanced life. Part of what you're walking away from is a sense of perhaps compromising and negotiating in a way that has compromised and negotiated past the point that you're you're willing to do. It's compromised who you are in your own personal sense of integrity. Some of you, this is walking away from being with a group of people that just <laughs> doesn't work for you anymore. I say that because the Eight of Cups is paired with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So in the upright position, the Three of Pentacles is a card of compromise and negotiation. It represents uh, teamwork, uh, working together with a group of people, small or large, but usually a smaller group of people, um, towards a common cause, kind of everybody working for the greater good, um, everybody contributing their own skills and talents and whatever they have to offer uh, to achieve uh, uh, a common goal or project of some kind. Uh, everybody kind of giving and taking and, and compromising and negotiating to get something accomplished. But you got it in the reverse position. This is part of what you're walking away from. So for some of you, it's job and career related or you're, you're walking away from a project where uh, there's been a lot of compromise and negotiation, perhaps too much for you, and you're just making a decision to cut yourself free from it. Uh, Again, what it is specifically is going to play out differently uh, depending on who's watching, but the fundamental energy remains the same. You're walking away from it, um, uh, pr probably from having to compromise and negotiate who you are. Uh, I think for some of you, um, you're no longer willing to compromise and negotiate your joy and your fulfillment in life. So you're walking away, you're leaving it behind, and you've invested a great deal into this so far. And for some of you, this is behavioral patterns or a way of doing something, a way of looking at something that you've been struggling with for quite a long time and you finally reach the point where you're, you're able to walk away from it and leave it behind. Now, at or towards the end of January 2017, we have a fabulous, powerful combination of two aces, brand new beginnings. We start with tangible new beginnings and we end with more new beginnings. We have the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Swords is air energy, which is the element that governs the suit of swords. Swords is a very mental, cerebral, intellectual energy. It's about what goes on up in our heads, our thoughts, belief systems, perspectives, outlook, uh, words, ideas, communication. So this is new beginnings uh, in how you look at something. This could be the beginning, the building up of a new belief system. It represents a new perspective, a fresh perspective, a different way of looking at something. This is kind of your aha moment, your epiphany, the light bulb going off uh, in your head. Uh, uh, the Ace of Swords comes in 
and cuts away any extraneous fantasy and illusion and exposes something, illuminates something for exactly what it is. And it's all of a sudden like you see something in a different light and it's like, wow. Uh, and now you know exactly what it is, where you stand and where to go. It's it's also a card of success, but but uh, with, with almost a brilliant clarity, everything being completely illuminated. It's a whole different outlook. On what? Well, on how you're going to move forward and how to achieve these new beginnings because that Ace of Swords, so you have this tangible new beginning. You're, it's a concrete new beginning, moving or starting a new job, how whatever this represents for you in the beginning. And we end with moving forward again, uh, new beginnings and how you're looking at this, perhaps in the belief system, which is, which is what has successfully helped you overcome what was no longer working for you, uh, looking at it in a different way and with a fresh new perspective. The Ace of Swords is accompanied by the Ace of Wands, so we have more fire energy here. So this is action-oriented new beginnings. This is this is uh, this is this is somewhat uh, cerebral intellectual energy too, but it's it's creative, inspiring, manifesting, building energy. This is this is the ideas of how to do this. Whatever new beginning you're moving into, it's kind of like being all of a sudden you're having this new outlook, this new perspective, and you're getting all these new ideas on, on how to create and build and manifest your life as you're starting forward on this new path. It's very exciting and forward moving, and it's just full of change and action. Uh, it, it's as if you're ending the month with uh, kind of a bang and moving forward. But it looks like it's taken quite a bit out of you because your your overall card from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is the Four of Swords, which is a card of, of rest and respite recuperation, recovery, uh, perhaps the holiday season uh, took quite a bit out of you. I know holiday season can be quite chaotic for uh, a lot of us. This is a card that uh, often shows up when people are kind of worn out, exhausted. Sometimes it's a card of needing to withdraw from conflict, take some time off, uh, take a breather, kind of withdraw, uh, rest, uh, recharge, regain some of your energy, take a little bit uh, better care of yourself. Try and carve out some time uh, so you can take a deep breath, get some sleep, take better care of yourself so that you can prepare yourself for um, uh, this new beginning that looks like you're kind of almost catapulting yourself into at the end of January and going into the beginning of February as well. Uh, so it looks like uh, whatever this process you've been through, some of you may feel quite tired and worn out and exhausted, although the energy is lovely and positive, but uh, it's very active and active oriented and, and whatever struggle uh, uh, and whatever you've been through to get yourself to this point, uh, you may need to take some time off to kind of recharge and recoup and, and get your batteries powered back up again in whatever way uh, that is works for you in doing that. And if if you're not, this is advice on doing that. Make sure that you you kind of uh, carve some time out to have some peace and quiet, whatever it is that you do, Pisces, to kind of recharge and get yourself ramped back up again because it looks like at the end of the month and moving into February, you're going to need all of your energy uh, for this exciting new beginning that you're, you're leaping into. So Pisces, that pretty much wraps up your January 2017 general reading. I hope you have enjoyed it and that you have found it useful in some way. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the January 2017 mid-month readings. And uh, if any of you are interested uh, in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me for yourself or as a gift for anyone else, or if you're interested in the year overview and outlook or any of the other personal readings I offer, uh, you can send me an email at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. That email address is also under the about button on my YouTube channel's homepage. I would be delighted to work with you. I will see you all again soon, and until then, as always, Pisces, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.